Your achievement diary has lost its trim as you have not completed all quests. What the hell? I guess they came out with a new freaking quest today, man. What is it? Please don't be a hard one. The Garden of Death. Intermediate, short. Requirements 20 farming and 20 combat. Okay. Thank you, Jamflex. Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. Today is episode 68 of the Iron Man progression. Looks like we're going to be doing some questing in this video as well. I also heard that Jagex actually buffed some of the quest rewards, and we can go claim that XP. That is very interesting. Wonder why they're doing this? Who knows? It literally took the trim off my achievement cape. That is really funny. And I'm assuming right now we can't wear the quest cape either. Yes, you have not completed all quests. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is the most active this place has literally been in years. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Come on, give me... What do I have to say? Um... Hmm. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is, man. Jesus, what do I click? Oh, it's already in my freaking inventory anyways. We get some experience here. I think I'm just gonna like, do I do, do post ag uh, agility? I'm assuming would be like the most efficient thing to do for all these bonus things. How much XP is this gonna be? Holy shit, we just gained 45k agility for that. Interesting. Now, I think if we talk to this guy as well, we get a little bit more experience. Uh, I think that's it. All right, so let's use this lamp right here. Um, so we can do attack, strength, defense, um, range, magic, and HP. Um, so this one doesn't really matter. Strength it is, let's go. 20,000 strength has been granted. Okay, that one was kind of shit. Can't use my freaking quest cave to get here anymore. But anyways, apparently I talked to a guy in here as well and I get some XP. How you doing, my kind sir? Thank you for these experience lamps. I feel like this is RS3, man. So we could do attack, defense, strength, hit points, prayer, magic, woodcutting, crafting, smithing, herb lore, agility, agility. 22,000, man. I swear to God, is this... Why are they doing this? Like, I really don't understand why they're buffing quest rewards. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me, but I guess I'll take it. Now this one I believe is supposed to be like crazy. I'm not sure. Oh, this is where this little guy is up here in Edgeville. As you can see, people just getting levels off this. Um, so we're gonna talk to this guy. Seems like you're missing out on some valuable experience. Would you like it? No, I wouldn't. Oh, what the hell is this, man? 224K agility, 28 construction, 35K crafting, 26K farming, 35K fire making, 40K fishing, 30K herb lore, 55. Uh, Hunter, 100,000 mining experience, 25,000 runecrafting, 90,000 slayer, and 75, no way. Wait, yes. Yes, please, man. <laughs> what? Is this like a fucking prank or something? Wh why? Like, can anyone tell me why? I've been logged into the game for 17 minutes and we've gained 1.1 million XP. We're at 11 million XP an hour at this rate. Look at all this free XP that I got. 358,000 agility, 20,000 strength, 66,000 woodcutting, 40,000 fishing, 35,000 fire making, 35k crafting, 75k smithing, 102k mining, 30k herb lore, 100,000 thieving experience. Why? 90,000 slayer, that's massive. 26k farming, 25k uh, rune crafting, 55k hunter, 28k construction for free. All right, kind of excited, man, to do a new quest. Okay, one thing I want to say is I'm not a big fan of this quest. It's very repetitive, but they do have really cool like artwork that they... Uh, I don't know how to explain this, like all these carvings that you have to find during the quest to translate items, they did a great job on these. This looks, they look phenomenal. All right, there we go. Congratulations, you have completed the Garden of Death. You are rolled with one quest point and 10,000 farming experience. 
God damn, I'm actually really happy that one is over. I was really excited for a new quest, but it was just a bunch of searching rocks and typing in stuff. Uh, it was a really odd quest, but uh, I guess we're ma or maxed. I guess we have the quest cape again, man. All right, looking like we are actually a quest caper again, which is really nice to see. Um, and then also we could, I believe, trim this now. I'm not quite sure. We just trim it again. And now we have the trimmed achievement diary cape back. Love to see it. All right, guys. So we have spent the last three days straight killing lizard and shamans. We finally got 5,000 of the fangs. Now we can finally go to the swordsman here and buy ourselves one single golden leaf, I believe it's called. Yes. And now we can make the thing in the POH, the unlimited Xerix talisman. Alright, so building mode is now on and okay. I, I've been waiting to build this thing for multiple years now. We have the dig site pendant here and I believe on this side we can build the Xerix talisman. So build amulet space. So the mounted Xerix Talisman is one mahogany plank, one gold leaf, 5,000 Lizardman Fang, and a Xerix Talisman for, uh, let's freaking go, man. So now we have both of them. Okay, so when we come into the house now, we have this on the wall. So now we can teleport the Xerix Talisman and have unlimited teleports. That is just so cool to have just sitting on the wall now, man. I mean, I don't have all of the teleports unlocked, but let's go to the lookout, for example. We have unlimited teleports here right now. So cool. Now, as for the kills that we've done in this video, we have done 2,123 kills at 14.2 uh, million worth of loot. We've spent, like I said, three days straight now on this gathering all the uh, inserts and fangs and still no dragon warhammer you hate to see it okay it's been a few days actually since i've recorded anything on this account and we have now um killed 4239 lizardman shaman and uh yeah still do not have the hammer i really hope we don't go like 20,000 kills dry man like i said though i will do this until i get it maybe Okay, so I'm just killing some shamans and this guy right here, I told him how dry I've been and he said that my dad works for Jagex and I will tell him to boost your RNG so you can get the drop. I'm like, let's go. What is your dad, Mod Ash or something, buddy? Well, another week has passed and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the KC here at Lizardmen. How many Lizardmen have I killed? Now we have done a total of 5,300 Lizardmen shamans and unfortunately, boys... We still do not have the Dragon Warhammer. In this video alone, we've killed four, almost 4,300 of them. We've made about 28 million GP, but not really because we lost a ton of Zalra scales. And I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing about that right now. I've wanted to do this for a while, but I didn't really exactly know when I was going to do it. Um, as you can see, if I go to my Zalra skills, wherever they are, we have zero right now. So I'm going to take apart my hel my Serpentine Helms and my Fangs. That's really sad to see go. But I do want an excuse to go back to Zalra. So let's just go ahead and take all these apart. This is, oh, this is so painful to go ahead and do, man. We're up to 80,000 scales. 100,000 which is nice to see again we have 120,000 Zalra skills that's so painful man to do on an Iron Man account um let's go ahead and check the darts I shouldn't really be using these darts here but it is what it is I can go ahead and mine more in the future if I need to so we're gonna go ahead and fully load the blow oh my god up to 60 percent we are running low man on darts Oh my god, so yeah, we have the fully blowpipe again, 111,000 scales left over, still, uh, that's about 18 million GP, which is kind of interesting, I don't know if it's going to change the bank value or anything at all, but uh, yeah, we should be good, hopefully this is enough scales, man, to get myself the Dragon Warhammer, but then after that, sometime in the new year, January, February, we're going to be camping Zalra for a little bit, Probably I'm going to get a thousand kills extra at Zalra, get some nice uniques, get a ton of skills that way. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll go back now and kill another 5,000 freaking Lizardman Shaman. 
Also, we've been fishing a bit. We're up to 21,000 Karam wands now. Love to see that. Well, I didn't think I would actually go this dry at the Lizardman Shaman. I mean, kind of expected to, like look at my Hydra luck, for example, but we are going to be here until we get the hammer, like I said, which honestly could take another month at this point. Like, um, I've killed about 6,000 of the Shamans now, and it's a 1 in 5,000 chance. Um, I'm expecting to go over 10,000 before I get the Warhammer, and we might even have to return to Zalra before we get the hammer because we only have another hundred thousand scales left we might even have to go ahead and make some more darts as well i just i can't believe how dry we're going we have been making a decent amount of money though not really though bank value but for iron man gp the bank value staying exactly the same because i'm using so many scales and so many darts but the range xp is looking crazy uh we are at 25.8 million range now um and i think we're gonna be passing cooking which is very interesting i haven't been doing much cooking and fishing i've just been so focused on getting the warhammer this pretty much this entire video the past two weeks i've just been spending a lot of time at the lizardman shamans um and overall it's it hasn't really been the most fun thing in the world but i'm kind of getting used to it now at this point where i can not fully afk but i can easily like watch a movie or something like that on the side while i'm killing them i just i'm expecting the warhammer very soon because i'm going so dry at it i've been literally like looking at the uh stats online the calculators and seeing like sometimes in 5,000 kills people get four hammers sometimes they get zero it's just it's it's the luck right and it's gonna take a long time um, I'm going to go ahead and put up on screen the amount of money that we've so far made in this video with the Lizardman Shaman. And I'm going to keep the loot tracker on the side, obviously, until we get the hammer. But it is an insane amount. Right now, it's about 35 million GP in like loot from the lizardman shaman now obviously minus all the zara scales and stuff we might not have even profited really but i mean range experience is pretty cool total experience is pretty cool and uh it is what it is man i i know i'm gonna go dry at certain things and get very lucky at others but i really just want to get the hammer to move on because then i can go to things like bandos and get my armor i can actually go back to doing slayer because i feel like i want to stay here until i actually get myself the hammer because it'll just make everything easier every boss task i do in the future i can use the dragon war hammer for i can upgrade my gear with it like i've already said and i feel like it's just a right step and then direction to eventually start doing raids and stuff like that a lot of people want to be doing raids with me and i definitely want to do streams in the future where i do raids with some viewers and stuff like that but i can't do it efficiently without the war hammer and i just feel like it's something necessary for me to go ahead and get before i do that so yeah the the next progress video i will have the dragon war hammer Unless I go like 20,000 dry, but um, I should have the Warhammer in the next progression video. I was hoping to get it in this video, but we have just went incredibly dry. So yeah, I hope you guys understand that I have to st sit here at the Lizardman Shamans for a long time. If we do run out of Zalra skills, like I said, back to Zalra for another thousand killers. So I want to stock up on the skills, but that should be fun to do in January or something like that. It can be uh, a little goal to set to kill another thousand Zalra, maybe even finish the Zalra log. I still need the jar from Zalra and the one of the mutagens, the orange one. So it would be cool to actually finish that log, get a ton of more money and also grapes for cooking. Also a lot of these anti-poisons all drops as well. We're running very low, very low on those as well. So we could stock those back up again, but uh, eh, good drop, I guess. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the entire video today and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya later.